Okay, so we all know and are pretty aware of some of the hugest public companies in the world like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and even GameStop. But are there actually any e-commerce brands, specifically direct-to-customer e-commerce brands that are publicly traded on exchange for you and I to buy? If so, how on earth are they actually doing it? This video would be pretty boring and have to end pretty much right about now if there was no public D2C e-commerce companies, but fortunately there is. And today, as quickly as possible while also being still accurate, I want to jump into the latest IPO from a DTC e-commerce company and show you guys what they are selling, what their website looks like, and how much money they are actually making. So stick around and let me show you this company that most of you probably did not even know was public. Let's go. Right off the bat, what is the company called? Who are they? Well, the company is called Wearfakes, and basically they are transforming the way the medical apparel industry kind of works. The company sells fitted scrubs for men and women, and it's made of this special fabric that they call Fionex or Fionex, whatever it may be called. And so basically, they are in apparel, however, they're doing quite well because they don't have a gazillion SKUs. They've managed to do a pretty good job with their SKUs, and 82% of their sales are carried by only 13 SKUs, so that's not too bad. My e-commerce brand has 8 main SKUs. They have 13, but they're doing a lot more revenue, and I'll get to more on that in a sec. You can see some pricing here and a few of their products they offer. As you can see, they sell masks, they sell all kinds of nurse clothing. So essentially, just to lump up their business model, Fix took something pretty boring and generic, slash scrubs, and turn it into something revolutionary, fun, cool, and turn it into a pretty big movement. And they did it all while also growing a cult-like following on Instagram, just like brands like Fashion Nova and Lululemon. Seriously, like nurses are obsessed over this brand. I know a few nurses, they all follow this brand. Nurses love this company, and we'll get to more on actually how the numbers show that in a bit. So we know about the company, I showed you guys their website, we'll come back to that in a sec. Let's talk money. Figs has filed to now raise 100 million, give or take, by IPOing. This means that they're gonna have a stock, it's gonna be on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker Figs, F-I-G-S. There will be more information provided, but this is the latest scoop, guys, so you're in the loop. Okay, cool. So they're an e-com company, they're gonna IPO, they're gonna raise like 100 million, but mind you, some companies can go public and they aren't even profitable at all. They're actually losing tons of money every year and just doing tons of revenue. And some companies can actually go public in IPO based off pre-revenue valuations and have basically sold nothing at all. And as we all know, e-commerce is getting more and more competitive, thus being more costly. So let's actually see where this company lands on the spectrum. So after seeping through their S1 form, which is from the sec.gov, which I'll also link below, uh, I'm pretty speechless, so let me just take you through this and listen to all the numbers I'm about to tell you, and if you aren't amazed by the end of this, then you can leave this video, but if you are amazed, drop that thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go. So if we go through these bullet points and charts, we start with 138% year-over-year growth. Now, if you're doing 250k a year with your store, and you take it to 600k the next year, you know, that's not that's not bad. It's still a pretty fat gain, and you should be pretty proud of yourself. However, Fix is taking $110.5 million in 2019 annual revenue, and turning that into a whopping $263.1 million just the year after in 2020. Uh, yes, the pandemic probably gave them a little bit of a benefit, but... No global event or external event can give you that much of a boost. There has to be more behind it, so let's keep going here. The company lost a little bit of money and was unprofitable at around $1.3 million net loss for 2018 year end. Uh, but now in 2020, they made a whopping $57.9 million in net profit in that one year alone. That's astonishing. And if we look even more into their earnings and profitability and look at EBITDA, they netted a 26.3% margin in 2020. Also, one more thing that I want to pick out, they have a ton of cash, which lately is becoming more important than earnings. Seriously, I know investors that value free cash flow over earnings sometimes. And this company has the earnings and the cash flow. Now, am I going to be investing in this stock? I have no clue, but I just love e-commerce and I want to keep going here. So let's stick with it. Let's go over these numbers one more time. Customers have grown 118% year over year. Revenue is going 138% year over year. There's $263 million in revenue last year, 26% EBITDA, 1.3 million customers in 2020. Plus, for all you Facebook ad gods, I do have some information on their customer acquisition costs. If we refer to this chart right here, in 2018, they paid around $101 to acquire a customer for a first-time purchase. In 2019, they 
were able to get that number down to $73 for to acquire a customer on that first time purchase. Uh, and in 2020, their CAC got all the way down to $39 when just two years before I was at $101. Um, that's pretty mind blowing. And I, I still can't, I still can't believe that some people are freaking out after month one of running their company and seeing that they don't have a, a super low cost per purchase or CAC. Relax, these people clearly waited it out and they're doing a great job. And like I said, they started in 2013, so they're finally seeing some results now. Additionally, best part and favorite part about this whole video, 60% of their customers are returning customers. So like I said earlier, they have built a cult-like following on Instagram and have all kinds of people following there. And so the reason they're able to make so much money and do so much revenue is that sure, they're paying $39 to acquire a customer, but 60% of those 10,000 customers or we can say 1.3 million customers 60% of them are actually going to come back and shop again and spend money a second time or a third time that increases LTV and that allows you to spend on profitably on the customer if needed and only 5% of their sales come from actual brick and mortar retail so it's literally like a DDC dream come true I'm not trying to bullshit this guys this is real information here and a DDC brand is going public it's not the first time but this is probably the best one um, arguably we're on the store's homepage and right away you can tell it's basically just like any big brand out there like this looks kind of similar to Gymshark's theme but I could be wrong you know right away you see a male you see a female your future's bright nice and clean homepage they're getting the mission across in a pretty good way it's everything that you'd expect to see on a homepage they're promoting their products they're slowly promoting their brand image I went ahead and pasted this website into similar web and as you can see their global rank is 18,000 not too shabby their country rank in the states is 4.6k not too shabby as well guys these are pretty good numbers I'm not like a website expert but I just want to go pretty deep into this and if you're finding value so far and kind of interested drop that thumbs up really appreciate it guys it was a long way for the channel if you're in a younger female niche and sell eyelashes like Glamnetic of course your feed's gonna be full with lashes and all that good kind of stuff this is an older ish demographic and so it's a lot more formal and professional you see all kinds of these nurses and I'm not gonna go through too much of their engagement and whatnot but very clean feed. They're promoting their products while also promoting positive movements in the whole nurse and medical space. Of course, COVID truly aligns with what they're offering. And so I'm just going through here and want to be super concise. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with how this brand has taken such a cool industry and made it a lot more fun. Clearly, it's a big industry and so their TAM won't be a problem. They're paying super cheap amounts for customers that are returning. And overall, they've just really done a lot of the biggest pillars that are most important like email marketing, social media following. I did not show their Facebook ads, but you can definitely do that as their website and everything will be linked below. And I hope you guys got some value from this video and found it pretty fun. That's pretty much it. My Twitter and Discord and all that good stuff will be linked below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.